Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Raw Radiant Health and I'm Natasha and thank you so much for joining me. So I have a special guest for us today. Um, but before I, I get into that, I just want everyone to mark their calendar because next Monday, June 22nd, 2009 is really, really important. June 22nd, 2009 is the day that Raw Mom Summit will start. And pretty much what this is, is Shannon Leone and Tara Warner have interviewed 30 experts. 30 experts from the natural health movement, to wellness, to raw foods, you name it. 30 experts have been interviewed um, on, on a wide variety of topics on parenting and being a mom or on kids or on, on family life, on everything. Everyone and anyone can get something out of this. This is not only for mothers, but this is also men can really get something out of this and grandparents and, and even young adults. Like anyone who's living in today's world that's, that, that has a family or is connected to a community can get something out of this. So I really encourage everyone to sign up for this because it's free, <laughs> which is even better. We love free stuff. So, um, and pretty much what it is, it's, it's 10 days. Uh, every day there's three interviews that are gonna be streaming over the internet. So how do you register? The best thing to do is actually go to my, uh, my blog, www.rawradianthealth.com slash blog, and look at today's blog post. And I'm going to post um, the, the, uh, the website of the, the Raw Mom Summit. And from there, you can just click on the link and go and register, sign up, and from there, you'll be connected. So, I had the opportunity then, today, to interview Miss Tara Warner, and she is of the Raw Mom um, dot com and the raw divas. Tara Warner is awesome. She's beautiful. She rocks. She is radiant, and she's going to be talking to us about the Raw Mom Summit. And pretty much, I half the interview is going to be today, and the other half of the interview is going to be tomorrow. So do check it out. All right, and enjoy. So Tara, um, can you describe a little bit about the Raw Mom Summit? Just what, what is it about? What's go how long is it going on for? Yeah, well, it's, uh, we've brought together about 30 different um, health advocates. Some of them are real leaders in their field. And it's everything from, you know, diet and nutrition. Obviously, that's a big interest for us. But it's communication, it's parenting, it's childbirth. And we're coming to bring them all together and discuss the issues that we feel are most important to moms who are seeking to sort of almost pioneer a path to better health. And it starts on June the 22nd. That's the end of six days, that's Monday. And it lasts for 10 days. So we have, every day there will be three speakers that we make available to the public for 24 hours for free. So anybody can access all of these calls for free, one time only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because a lot of work has gone into this. So for people who want to listen to them again and again, or who you know would like to be able to access these into the future, then there's a fee. There's a $97 fee for having access to all 30. It ends up being something like $3 each, which is next to nothing. But, um, so then there's a fee and you can purchase all of them. And we will be doing it again uh, just about every year. Wow, yeah. every year. Yeah. We need to get a new people. Well, because we've almost been overwhelmed. Like, since we released it, we've just been bombarded by emails saying, I want to be a part of this. What about this person? We really need this information on here. So we know that this isn't a one-time only thing, but it will be a one-time only for this event. And we've had some incredible people willing to contribute and be a part of this. So. Well, I was reading about the experts that you're, you've interviewed, and they're they're from all different. Like they're not all raw foodists. There's no. like Byron Katie and, yeah. and and it's not all about food. Like 
from mom or the idea from mom. I started that site, it's been a few years ago now. But I, I like the idea, you know, raw is sort of un, it's uncultured, not uncultured, but it's unrefined. It's pure in its sense. And so there's the element of raw mom that's saying we're interested in raw food, but there's also something about, you know, like mom in its pristine natural state, you know, and the, the mom that's raw. And uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of different things to cover, and in parenting we know it's not just about the food. It's as much how you communicate your attitude toward diet and health. And when we are dealing with some of the issues that families face, you know, some of it has to do with communication. And do you impose dietary choices on your children, or do you give them room to grow and to choose? These are all the kinds of things that we come up and. It, but there's as much the stuff, you know, are we doing it right? Am I giving them everything they need nutritionally? And how do you handle it when they reject this? Or worse, rebel against it? You know? So all these things get covered in detail. And is it just, like, are these interviews, like, is it just about the children, like, and moms? Or can no. husbands and boyfriends oh, yeah. and, or Definitely. even a young girl that doesn't even have children? Can you know, anyone who's interested in health. Anyone who's interested, anyone, I mean, we've targeted specifically to moms because there's a lot of information out there for the general public. There, you know, you can find general information everywhere, but we wanted to give something special to moms, but it doesn't exclude other people. It's really any person who's passionate about health will benefit enormously from this because these ideas are things we find in any relationship too you know do you how do you handle social situations when your boyfriend or you know people around you are sort of protesting these ideas that can help too but you no know, there is a whole panel of experts that are actually men and wow. yeah so we have a whole section of comments from men and their ideas about things and um yes it's We've had a lot of men registering for the event. So. Okay, that's great. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's good I to think know. it's essential. Yeah, so it's for all age groups. And even kids, can can they watch, listen to this? Definitely. As well? They okay. can. I think it depends on their age. Okay. You know, like I, what we'd like to do from here is start creating more projects for children. But this is still, it's still um, you know, you have to be able to follow adult conversation. So my six year old wouldn't be interested. No. <laughs> <laughs> and what inspired you to do this? It was time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was time to, um, you know, what? Like I've subtitled this, the evolution of motherhood has arrived, and I really feel like that's all you need to say. You know, like it's time. When we look around us and we see, we just, you know, you see the the, the, the tone level, you see the quality of life that's walking in the street. We we feel something needs to be done. And uh, I really believe that mothers are like the heartbeat of the home. And if we start with them, then we can facilitate change in ripples in a really big way. But that, and it doesn't have to start with the mom, but that's how I feel, you know. It's, she's setting the foundations for what comes from here. So I really like the idea of, of um, and often in some society, you know, she's kind of ignored, or her contribution is under, Acknowledged. Yeah. So, but I, I really feel like she's the one who holds the, the, the greatest opportunity to educate, inform, nourish these ideas, plant them in the seeds, you know, plant them in the minds of tomorrow's leaders. Yeah. And so that's why. Um, I always find that the mother is the pillar of the household. Yeah. You know, she yeah. holds everything up. Yeah, and you know, I'm coming from a single mother. I'm like a single parent. So, and I know there are a lot of people out there too. So there are all kinds of different situations, but, um, and so I don't want to negate any of the different scenarios that we have, but I know that I needed this. Sometimes we create out of a need for something to exist. And I want to know that I'm doing it right. I want to know, I, I, and you know, I think one of the things that we learn as mothers is the value of community living. The ne not just a value, but the importance, the necessity of that. And they say, you know, it takes a, it takes a village to raise a child, and yeah. I really like that idea. Wasn't that fantastic? We love Tara Warner. She just rocks. Um, I will also put her websites, um, the links to her websites on my blog, um, where you can see more of what she does. All right, so I wish everyone a fabulous, fabulous day, and I will see you tomorrow.
Bye for now.